season's greetings. Okay, this is uh, project number four uh, in my series around PV and solar installations. Um, any of you that uh, looked at one of my previous uh, projects number two, uh, I discussed some problems I was having with this uh, hybrid inverter and high losses uh, at night with relatively low loads. Um, and some of the problems around inefficiencies with these products uh, when they're drawing very small amounts of current. Um, quite a lot of my uh, kind of research is based on a, on a colleague, um, uh, easily board engineer, an Aussie uh, chap who's done some good uh, work on uh, addressing this parasitic load um, problem. And I've taken some of his uh, kind of findings and recommendations and packaged them into my own solution for my own requirements. So the theory is, um, these inverters with very small loads get less and less efficient. So while an inverter might have around about 90% efficiency, when it's just drawing a couple of hundred milliamps, um, that efficiency goes way, way down. It's a sort of exponential curve. Um, and I'm just going to include a graphic. See at the bottom left how quickly the efficiency ratio drops off. So one of the solutions um, that he suggested was to go for a small, sort of 20 amp uh, DC to DC inverter that's not trying to go from um, battery and solar into mains and then back to battery again uh, for small DC voltages uh, but can rather um, build a 12 volt uh, sort of bus or 12 volt um, system for small domestic appliances that use 12 volts so security surveillance systems, burglar alarms, um, uh, cordless telephones a um, couple of other things like security lights that can run on LED 12 volt lighting. So that's what I've done. I've taken his advice and I've taken some of the load off this inverter by building a separate DC supply. Uh, the first thing is uh, connecting up to my battery pack. I had got into trouble before by connecting um, loads directly to a single battery in a pack, uh, in a, a, a lead acid patch pack. And the problem there is that you cause an imbalance in the batteries and that really screws up the whole process. It's amazing, even the small load, like a, a few hundred milliamps over time will cause the batteries to go completely out of balance and really get you into trouble. So what I've done this time is I'm taking my supply across the whole pack of batteries, that's eight batteries, two banks connected in series, giving me 48 volts, and I'm using a DC to DC inverter to go from that to 12 volts to the local supplies. Obviously, when you're running at 12 volts, your distances need to be short, because of the voltage drops I've used. Right, so here's my battery bank. These are four uh, batteries connected in series, giving me 48 volts, and I've taken a feed off past the, the main breaker, uh, threw it across, uh, running a thick cable up all the way along to my a little DB board, which I've put um, up there. Uh, I made it a bit bigger than it needs to be, uh, just so I've got a bit of expansion capability. And that DB board has a breaker. It's a, an AC breaker which is rated for DC. So it's a 20 amp uh, breaker, really as an, as an isolator. And next door to it, you'll see my uh, 20 amp um, DC to DC, sorry about the focus, 20 amp DC to DC, 48 to 12 volt converter. And then I've run through some uh, cabling up into a second uh, distribution box where I've fitted um, 2.1 millimeter DC connectors so I can plug appliances in there. So the cable uh, coming in is uh, 1.5 48 volts and going out is 2.5 uh, 12 volts and the distances are relatively short and this has worked uh, quite well. I'll show you a picture here of how I've wired up the DC distribution and uh, we'll let you know what the overnight drain results are. So just to recap this uh, inverter the 48 to 12 volts is, n is not that common uh, there are a lot of um, 24 volts but the 48 to, to 12 is a little bit uh, uh, unusual and I mounted it outside of my box so that there's cooling and um, easy access what I have also done is I've run fuses I've ran uh, two 10 amp fuses for the in the supply uh, and each individual output is fused so that if I have a short um, I've got some protection